Greetings to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray and trust you're all well. Thank you for coming along to this video. I'm Nicholas the Watchman here on Wednesday, January 6, 2021. I am almost live. I'm watching Sky News footage from um, live in Washington, D.C. And I'm about five hours ahead, but it doesn't really matter. I'm seeing this from the well real time as it happens and Donald Trump made a very uh, inspiring kind of speech to the crowd to say you know you know protest peacefully but we're not going to concede no matter what and and the crowd loved that and um boy the times we live in i don't know what's going to happen but when i looked at all this going on wouldn't this be an opportune moment for an alien deception just to take all the believers away in Christ Jesus who believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to, to be suddenly the rapture of the church to happen and an alien deception to be realized now Donald Trump has already come out and said there's going to be in the next 180 days. I don't know why the next 180 days, but that's not, you've got to wait 180 days for the disclosure, an alien disclosure, but up to 180 days. So there's a so-called alien dis disclosure going to happen at some point. And I think this could be a prime time for that to happen. Obviously, we don't know, but for, I just get this feeling that just looking at this, it would be the opportune time for the Lord to come for his church and for an explanation to be given as to where all these people went and they suddenly say, well, you know, you know, they were they were getting in the way of democracy. They had to go to let the um, Great Reset go forth. And we know they're meeting in Davos later this year and having a virtual meeting this month. I do believe January 25th, which is five days after the inauguration of a possible Joe Biden presidency. And... We can just see all this getting set up for something like that happening. I mean, I mean, people listening to me speak who don't know what's going on, they just think this is just a protest. They listen to me and think, what on earth are you talking about? But we know. And we know because we read the Bible. We know what's coming. And here's Donald Trump and saying that, that we won't concede and he, we're going to fight for this. And I don't blame um, Donald Trump for doing it. I don't blame Americans. The steal of the election, that it has been stolen from the people. People who went out and vote voted, put their, well, as we do here in... Um, the UK, we put an X in the box who we vote for. And people who have done just that, gone out in, uh, when was it, November 5th or something like that. I can't remember when now. It was so long ago. Well, just November, shall we say. They went out to vote good Americans, whoever they voted for. And it seemed that the ones who voted for Donald Trump got cheated. And that's a, a shame. Um, I think we should sack the cameraman uh, at this point, um, or they're being jostled or something. But we can see clearly this is probably what the globalists want. And like I said, if there's any time that an alien deception can come or the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ can happen, I think now would be the opportune time for a deception. But clearly, 
the Lord wouldn't just choose this moment to take his church, but I don't know. He could do. He could pick the right moment to create a great deception and it would play in the hands of Satan so well to uh, uh, lie to the world and say, yes, the people were getting in the way of democracy and they had to be removed. That's what um, this man, this Antichrist could say, and I'm here to sort things out, to clean things up or whatever he is going to do. We know what he's going to do, but um, this video isn't about the rapture of the church, but you know what a what a great time for it to happen right now would would be would play into the hands of the globalists like a treat, but this year could go on and on and on. We don't know, but we we just see a coming civil war is going to get to that point. Jesus said, "A house divided cannot stand and we see America so divided right now. It's it's amazing how now Biden has, I've got to say it, um, cheated his way to so-called victory. That um, oh, I've lost my train of thought now. That's in itself made, I do believe, the um, protest stop. All the protests suddenly stopped. All the Black Lives Matter and the Antifa, Proud Boys, they just, well, Proud Boys still continued on. I don't really know what side all these people are on, but I think it's just one big paid deception. They're all paid from all sides. I do actually think that Donald Trump has been put in um, by the the globalists I, I actually think he has they they allowed him to get in to create a divide in america that's that's what i think and that probably comes across that i'm painting donald trump as evil not at all but um donald trump says he's going he wants to drain the swamp and i do believe that the president's the, the, the left and the right are the same, two heads on the same coin. That's my take on it. That's what I think. And God decides these things also to make the end times happen. He allows the enemy to do certain things. He allows uh, the forces of good to prevail, to glorify himself and to make the end times come. And I tell you what, we are definitely in the end times now. We are seeing the signs of the coming tribulation coming thick and fast in the news. All the warnings Jesus gave us in Matthew 24, 25. Clearly, Matthew 24, 25 is not about the church per se, but it's painting a picture of what life will be like during the day of the Lord, the time of the 70th week of Daniel, the tribulation period, and we see the um, the shadows of that just casting itself all over the earth right now. And it's only a matter of time, guys, before we hear something in the heavens and we just go to the throne room of the universe and be with Jesus Christ and I do believe that can be any time now it, it certainly feels as though something can happen any moment I just feel it in my spirit that something's going to happen it's like the Lord well the Lord never tells me anything but it's almost as if the Lord is just saying you know just stay with me, trust me, or we'll be fine, or we'll be explained very soon, or something along those lines. But boy, this is uh, very interesting. Um, 
but I will let you all know that you should not be scared or you know worried. These things have to happen so the end might come, and the end is coming. And uh, this is opening the gates, as it were, to the new world order. This is the floodgates opening for that to happen. Uh, America's in the way of globalism. It's the last bastion of freedom, the United States of America. Because it's the United States of America. They're united together in their own country. The globalists don't want that. They want the United States of the world. And we can see Agenda 21 really picking up pace as soon as we come into the beginning of 2021. So we watch, we wait for our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's coming soon, very soon. And we should not be worried. As long as we have Jesus Christ in our lives, we trust him as our Lord and Saviour. We admit we sin, we believe that he died on the cross and he came as God and dwelt in a man, God's spirit in a mortal man, and he died on the cross for all sins. And we believe in him and we call upon his glorious name. So whatever you're seeing in this footage, and you're concerned about your future, Jesus Christ is your future. Trust in the Lord, always. I'll uh, shut it off here and now and um, get on with the rest of uh, my evening. And um, I, I've been praying for you guys in America. I'll pray some more that you will all be safe and well and that the Lord comes quickly. Love one another, forgive one another as the Lord loves us and has forgiven us. Stay in the word, stay in prayer. I love you all. God bless you all. Bye for now.